You know, we've been coming up to Leech Lake for years. You know, when we first started filming television shows, Leech Lake was one of the first places that we went. And, you know, Leech Lake is one of those historical fisheries that's just been producing incredible fishing memories for decades. I mean, it's just one of those special destinations. Obviously, you've got the walleye fishing. You've got all the different patterns, all the different ways you can catch walleyes on Leech Lake. And you've got the bass and the panfish and the muskies. And you've got all the small lakes surrounding Leech Lake. It's just a tremendous area if you love to fish. And, Community of Walker is really laid out for fun. I mean, we even named our youngest son Walker, you know? So, I mean, just a, a special place to, to us. But Leech Lake is just one of those renowned destination fisheries. And it really, you know, a lake with a lot of historical significance, especially when you look at the state of Minnesota. Got some fish scattered through here. I'm just gonna lay out some waypoints here where I'm seeing some pods of fish and then we'll turn around here go through and fish them. It's fun when they're up shallow. There's a nice break line here too. Yeah, yeah, there's quite a few in there. There's a bunch more, see? Oh yeah. There we go. There you got him. How's he feel, Dusty? Feels pretty good. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful fish. Oh man, oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Nice work there, sir. Yeah. That would be just a perfect fish to you're out here trying to catch a meal. I'm gonna make a cast here while you're doing that. Oh, they're just beautiful golden walleyes. Yep. Right in the snout. And it seems like there's a lot of them in here too. This is fun. Yes. Leech Lake Beauty. I think I kind of found the angle that they, right when your jig kind of turns like this, yeah, it comes up. Sometimes they like it just coming a certain way for some yeah, reason. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? It is. What yeah. if there's like current down there or something that they line up on, or if it's just the way they're traveling? It, or? That's a hundred percent it. Yeah, it's like a current that they're just sitting in. Yeah, and you swim that by them, they can't resist. It's that time of year in northern Minnesota where it's the shiner spawn. You know, it happens mid-May, early June, these shiners come in shallow and they spawn. And it's like the perfect timing for the walleyes because they just got done spawning. It's time to regroup. It's a nice little fatty shiner. Uh, what better meal, you know? It's, it's, it's just like what Mother Nature uh, set up for these northern Minnesota lakes is the spot-tailed shiner for the walleyes to come in and, and gorge on them and it, it's a cool thing so it pushes these fish up shallow it's just a great fun way to fish there's a fish there we go nice that fish just pinned it right to the bottom Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just a good eater. Yeah, nice. Thank you, sir. You're Get them out of the net there. Yeah, just a... Oh, look at that fish just swallowed it. He's hungry. I've got my shiner, but... Get you another one. That'd be a fish to flay right there. You know, I tell you what, you look at a lot of places in Minnesota and that's no, no easy task. You know, where you have lakes that, for whatever, well, most of the fish are in the slot or... This is a place where you can come out and catch a bunch of fish if you want to eat fish. Which, you know, we throw fish back on our shows because we're traveling all the time and we don't want to mess with coolers and ice when we're several miles away from home. <laughs> but make no mistake, we eat a lot of fish. When we're at home, we're eating fish all the time. I just don't like to freeze them, so I like to eat them fresh. I just keep what I need to eat, throw the rest back. But uh, eating fish is a good thing. There's a good one. Got him? Good fish? Yeah. This one feels a little better, Jason. All right, yeah. well, I'll get the net here when you're ready. He's 
fish are just kind of scattered around us. Yeah. I'm gonna fish here as long as I can. <laughs> Beautiful morning. This is a nice one, yeah. Just that light line, you know. I know. That's you know. That's a, that's fun about this is every 15 inch, every 18 inch, every 20 inch fish is fun. They Ooh. just stretch out that mono and oh yeah, there's a nice fish. I'll get the net for this one. Oh yeah, pulling out drag. But every fish is so much fun when you're using six pound test and an eighth ounce jig, sixteenth ounce jig. I love this. Wow, yeah, that's a beauty. Oh, that is a beauty. Oh. You can look down that clear water and see them a long ways. It makes them look bigger. Uh oh, uh oh. I got I it. Like that. Oh, yeah, Dusty. Wow. Oh, that is a gorgeous <laughs> fish. Right? Isn't it? Oh, I love this. That's a great one. Yep. That is beautiful. That's why we do this right there. Good fighter. Oh yeah. That light line. Nice fish. Yeah. Yeah, big old teeth on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mid that 20 is, inch yeah, fish. Yeah, that's a great fish. And they are long and strong. Yep. Beautiful Leech Lake walleye. Fish took off like a bullet. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. That's cool. Nice thing about that mono and not fishing in any rock or real structure out here is yeah. if you feel any resistance. I think good. there's something to be said too for how clear the water is, right? That's I think one factor yep. where mono shines, but also too, you know, we're, we're just floating and gliding and sliding these jigs over really shallow water. We're getting them away from the boat. And I think there's just something about the presentation with the jig with mono where that jig just swims. You know, it doesn't get bogged down. Does, you know, the presentation is just fluid. But I think with braided line, sometimes that it gets too herky-jerky. Yeah, and I think with braid, sometimes with these shiners, you feel that bite and you set the hook yeah, too fast. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So the nice thing about this mono, you know, with no resistance, you can kind of watch that rod tip and you see it move, and that's when you know it's time to set yep. the hook. Absolutely. You know, Leech Lake is a is one of those places where you really have to keep an eye on the wind. You know, a lot of times before I travel to Leech Lake, I'm looking at the wind forecast and what direction the winds are coming from, the velocity that they're blowing, just so that I can, you know, I just want to envision what parts of the lake are getting beat up by that wind because that's a lot of times where, where you're going to find these walleyes. And even when you're fishing and you're fishing the wind, you know, if you don't have any wind, fish where the wind blew yesterday, but if you have wind today, fish where it's blowing today, but you know, sometimes that wind will lay down. And a lot of times, you know, you'll get pulses of wind where it might, you might get a little bit of wind and then it'll lay down, then you'll get a little bit of a ripple and it'll lay down. I tell you what, when you get that little bit of ripple, make sure that you're on your A game, make sure you go to your best spots, make sure you go to spots that you, where you know there's fish because you'll get these little windows where these fish bite. And so a lot of times, just a matter of waiting out these windows when you don't have any wind on Leech Lake. When you have wind on Leech Lake, it's easy, fish the wind. When you don't, fish where it blew and pay attention to those little ripples, pay attention to those little, you know, those little pulses of wind that happen throughout the day and try to maximize your day. There we go. All right. That one area, I yeah, well, get that angle down. I'll come here with the net here once you get ready. Stand down. There's a lot of fish in here. Yeah, there is. Ooh, this <laughs> one, another decent one. Oh yeah. I better get the net here. Oh yeah, boy, look at that. That one swallowed it, Dusty. Yes. All right, nice, nice work. Thank you. Nice work. All right, there we go. Yeah. Nice fish. You know, that's classic Minnesota right there, huh? Jig and a shiner. Oh yeah, Northland stand up, eighth ounce. Doesn't, doesn't get, get more better. Leech Lake than that. No, it doesn't. That's a beauty. Nice. You know, this is pretty typical. I guess we've seen this years past. We've had a late ice out. 
cold water temps still, you know, these fish, I guess were post-spawn, but it hasn't been that terribly long. But you know, you take these late springs like that, and I've seen it so often where Leech Lake, the, f the bite's gonna be good, and it stays good for a long time. It's like that cold water, oh, late yeah. spawn, helps a lot of these bites, especially if you love to pitch jigs. Got him? All yep. right, Dusty. Yeah, it's that one little zone. I might let you go in there, Jason. No, you're all right. I've had bites over here, too. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll get the net here when you're ready. I'm not going to stop fishing until you are ready. <laughs> it's fine. Looks like a nice fish, huh? Yeah, a decent one. Yeah. Here. I got it. It's light line, it's easier to put it in the net. Another perfect Leech Lake eater. This is the perfect size for the pan. The nice thing about Leech Lake, it's a four fish limit and you can keep one over 20. But when it comes to keeping fish, it's hard to beat a perfect 15, 16 inch walleye like this right here. So for many years now, I've used mono, six and eight pound mono for this jigging and rigging on Leech Lake. I always have like a power line ready but it just seems like that light line sticks out best here. It just give, gives the, the minnow or the action just a little slower movement, a little different, it's more finesse -y. Another thing I see too is you can detect the bite on mono before they feel you, say on a power line. So like today a lot, I was seeing that bite in my line and on my rod tip, and I would just lift my rod tip, and once you've seen that jolt, set the hook. You know, like on a power line, if that happens, they might be gone by then. So just switch up your jig cadence. You can snap it hard. You can just pop it, twitch it, maybe even just drag it. One thing I always say is just let the fish kind of tell you what they want. That is a pod. Yeah, those are a couple of bigger ones. Yeah, let's fish these right away. There he is. Yeah. Nice. Had to catch up to it a little bit. When we seen those on side scan, we knew they were a little <laughs> yeah. bigger. Yeah, they looked nicer. Fish chomped it. It's way out of the, it made a long cast. Oh, just nice eater. Oh no, that's a healthy fish. Boy, that water is so clear. I mean, they go down to the bottom, you can almost see them. It makes sense these fish would be spooky. Oh yeah. All wow. right. Nice fish. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and just lift them right on up here. I'll grab them out of the net here. There. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Swallowed that jig. Oh, look at that. <laughs> jig popped right out. Yeah. That <laughs> fish is just growling. Just a healthy walleye. All right. Get that back. There she goes. I don't know, the forecast, we're supposed to get 10, 13 mile an hour winds today. Hopefully we get it, but sometimes it feels like that wind wants to lay flat. And you definitely tell it's affecting these fish. We gotta get away from the boat. Cast and away from the boat, it seems like, is the key. These fish won't let us get within 30 feet of them, it seems like. That's just the stand-up fireball jig. I mean, this has probably caught more walleyes in northern Minnesota, at least, you know, shallow early in the year. And then see how the eyelets on the front of the jig here. So you just pop it, work it through those weeds so much better. That short shank hook, I think, is important too, because that, that shiner can just roll and hang right out the back. And so we're just going right through the mouth, coming right up through the back of the minnow. You want it to come perfectly up the center of the back, just so that minnow rides nice through the water but that's the program right there spot tail shiner medium to small size spot tail shiner that northland stand-up fireball just slides and glides through those weeds a lot better and that catches a lot of fish in leech lake catches a lot of fish in cast lake bemidji winnie all these northern minnesota lakes there's a pretty similar program to this it seems like
there's a fish. There we go. Nice one. Oh yeah, that fish is staying down nice. Stretching that model. Good. Oh, I love this. Right? One of my favorite ways to catch a walleye. Six pound mono and a light jig. On a good rod is as good as it gets. Oh wow. That's a chunker, huh? <laughs> yeah. Got a little fight left. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank no you, problem. thank you. That's a pretty one. Yeah, that is. This is just cool. There we go. Look at that pose. Fish are all attitude, all muscle. You know, we've got the boat probably in what, nine feet spot locked. We're casting up into seven, eight feet. And yeah, just this is just stacked with wallies. It just is just a well, not only a classic Leech Lake presentation, but a classic pattern in the sense that you can see from here to the shoreline, the shoreline's quite a ways away. Eight feet of water, just these gradual, long, big flats. There's some sand grass popping up in patches. These fish just move up and they run these flats. See the wind blowing in here? Really a wind-driven lake, you fish the wind. I mean, wherever the wind's blowing in on these flats, that's where you want to be. And, you know, we side image the fish first, came through, spot lot. We can see them on the scout mode on the active target. and. This is a deadly, deadly one-two punch. It catches a lot of walleyes on Leech Lake for a big part of the year. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just classic Leech Lake. Classic spring Leech Lake. Jigging a shiner. Yep. Wind blowing. Yep. Northern Minnesota right there. Oh yeah. So there's a lot of different situations where you could use a really cheap rod. I mean, if you're trolling, for example, trolling crankbaits, if you're running bottom bouncers and spinners, if you're using slip bobbers, you don't necessarily have to have a, a really high-end rod. You just have to have a rod that's good enough. But I tell you what, there's one situation to splurge. If there's one situation where having a high-end rod can make a difference, it would definitely be pitching jigs. And that's part of the fun of it is it's very hands-on. It's a, it's a touch game. It's you're, you're trying to feel these fish. You're trying to feel that jig. And a high-end rod can make a difference when you're pitching jigs. And so you look at all the stuff that's in your rod locker, all the things that you can waste money on. If you're gonna have a good rod, make sure that you have a good jigging rod. And I bet if you were to pull 100 walleye anglers, what their favorite presentation is, favorite way to catch a walleye, I bet for a big percentage of people, for a lot of people, it'd be pitching like jigs up into shallow water. There we go. Knew it was a matter of time. We seen them on the grass, You right? got one there? Yeah. All right. How's he feel? Feels good. All right. Okay, oh, yeah. I'll get the net here. Big white tip. Oh yeah, look at there, Dusty. Look at that, that is a beautiful wall. I got my net, my line hanging out there. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Beautiful, nice work. Beautiful fish. That's what we're looking for. They're healthy. They are. They've been eating. Yeah. Good stuff. There we go. Yeah, these fish just look mad, don't they? Oh yeah. But they got the attitude and the pose. Nice and healthy. Yeah, they are. That was fun. Man, they fight good. Yeah, that's a nice thing about this. Early in the year like this, as water's cold, these fish are just tough. Yep, they're just getting the feed bag on. There's one. Feel like a good one? Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. Whoa, that fish is getting bigger. Look at that thing. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, that is getting bigger, Dusty. That's a tank. That's a nice, nice fish. Whoa. That's a big leech lake walleye. That is a big fish. Oh, she is We not saw ready. this fish on the side image and we were starting to wonder if we, it was a rock. You're <laughs> right, we, or a log. Like, huh. oh, oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's a high fiber. <laughs> that's nice awesome. job. Wow. Nice job. What a tank. That is a tank. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. Look at that. 
That's a beautiful That's fish. That's got to be over 26, maybe 27 inches. I would say close to 27, yeah. Yeah. Just chomp that jig. Wow. Beautiful fish. Get her back. <laughs> Gotta love Leech Lake, huh? Oh my gosh. That's what it's about. Shallow Little water. Six pound test and a light jig. Good as it gets. Oh yeah.